Welcome beautiful teachers. In this video we're going to take a look at the Philip Keverin series. So these books come in two different levels. There are Easy Piano and Piano Solo. There might actually be one more level but those are two, the two that I use and they literally have this banner at the top the Philip Keverin series. So they're all arrangements by Philip Keverin who is a wonderful arranger um, and they're published by Hal Leonard. So I wanted to show you these because they're a great option for a certain type of student. There are just so many. I mean, I've got a whole watch of them here. There's so many different ones. Pop ballads and songs of inspiration I have in Easy Piano. And then I also have The Sound of Music, Motown Hits, Classical Jazz, Elton John, Cinema Classics. And there are just, there are so many more uh, that you can explore and I'm sure they'll all be great quality arrangements but for for your preview I just wanted to show you a few from a few different books here so the first one is from the Easy Piano series this is Moon River um, from Breakfast at Tiffany's and he has this arrangement in the Jazz Standards second edition <laughs> Okay, so that's just a little taste of Moon River from one of the easy piano books. Two of my favorite books though are from the piano solo level and that is Best Piano Solos, which is obviously bringing together 13 of, of the favorites from his other books, I think. And then we have the Beatles book. So I'm just gonna play you the start of Hallelujah from the Best Piano Solos, which has lots of great classic songs in there. <laughs> Okay, so that's just to give you an idea of that one. Obviously, um, it goes along from there and there's a beautiful section in the middle, but you can certainly look up the full piece, I'm sure. Um, and then from the Beatles album, there are so many great choices in here and they're definitely not your standard Beatles arrangements. So they've got interesting twists in them. They're a little bit showy and they're quite fun. This one is here, there and everywhere. And I'll just play the start of this for you as well. Okay, that's just to give you a flavour of a few of his pieces. Um, obviously, if you worked on the arrangement, that you could do them full justice. Each of those um, is a beautiful collection. Those are two of my favourites, the Beatles and the Best Piano Solos, and all of the Easy Piano arrangements are great. These books would work particularly well, though, for a student who really loves that particular song or that particular band or something like that. So they'd work for students who want to play familiar tunes. But if you had a student who just vaguely liked to play some kind of pop, I wouldn't go for these ones. I would only go for them if they really sold on the particular songs, especially at the easy piano level. The main reason I say that is the arrangements themselves are quite substantial, okay? So you've got four, six, maybe even eight pages. It's not a little taste of the song. It is the full song generally um, with a little twist to it sometimes, but it is quite a beefy arrangement. And so with that in mind, I would only pick 
say, the jazz standards book for someone who absolutely loves jazz standards and really wants to put their all into it, not as, you know, just some reading work, but because they're really committed to that particular book, the songs in that particular book. The easy piano ones, I hate that term, by the way, easy piano, because it's kind of a standard level. But what I'd call it is early intermediate is the actual leveling. So sometimes students will pick up those easy piano arrangements. And it's not great because they think it's supposed to be for a beginner. And it's really not. It's easier than like a classic arrangement, like the piano solo level, but it's not easy. Um, so early intermediate is what I would gauge that at about grade two or maybe even three, depending on where you want students to be at with them, whether you want them to be pushing them forward or whether you want them to be, you know, easier reading work, then it's going to be like a grade four level for that. So like an intermediate student. The reason I say that is, yes, the notation is fairly large. That's fine. But there's all sorts of chords going on. There's often different types of accompaniment patterns going on. So... Let me see if I can find an example. Yeah, there's a lot of independent work. So you've got the left hand doing some of the melody and then it swaps back and forth between them. But then there'll also be some accompaniment patterns. You know, it's not straight block chords and it's definitely not sticking to a, some simple <laughs> C major arrangement, right? The key signatures also vary a lot. I think they go up to maybe three flats or three sharps. Right, so not super simple, but great for an intermediate student who is really sold on a particular genre or particular um, band or composer. The piano solo then, the leveling I would say is like a late intermediate, maybe even early advanced. Um, I would recommend them for students again who are driven by that particular genre. Like if they love the Beatles music, that would be great for them. If, if they don't have a particular style in mind, Best Piano Solos is a great option uh, to bring together a few different popular songs that they're going to love to play. I would just say that if your student is not particularly driven towards a, the collection and the songs that are in it, like if they think, oh, those sound nice, rather than, oh yeah, I love that song. If that's the level they're at, then you're going to want it to be a bit easier for them. So you're not going to want them to start on it until they're really solidly reading at that level rather than pushing them forward. That's more of a general recommendation, but it applies to these books in particular. So the piano solo arrangements, I would say, are late, intermediate, early, advanced, like a grade six to maybe even up to a grade eight. There's some quite advanced techniques in there. They're definitely within you know, a, a reasonable technical range, then they're, they're not going to be shop any tunes or anything like that. But they are going to be challenging, particularly for students who haven't played a lot in this style before with all the rolled chords and all of that stuff going on. So I hope that gave you a taste of these books and what I like them for and who, which students they might be good for. Do let me know in the comments if you have any questions or curiosities about these books.